let's uh, get your assessment of the growth prospects here because obviously online e-commerce has been a driver for the business to how to what extent does that continue to be the case I, I think we're seeing an ever increasing demand for for our products which are paper based as you know and in a world where the, the consumer is pushing towards renewable recyclable biodegradable as, a, as an alternative to maybe less sustainable packaging solutions I think we see very structural changes in our business and across our innovation piece and whether it's through our, our, our natural sense of innovation and culture in Smurfer Kappa, that demand either in the e-commerce channel or indeed in the plastic to paper debate or packaging waste in its broader sense, certainly Smurfer Kappa sees maybe not at the initial stage of this year, next year, but, but for future growth absolutely mm. a kind of key driver. Matt. We have uh, clearly you, you, you saw some disruption in global trade uh, from the, the trade war between the US and China. I wonder if the coronavirus is yet adding to that to that uh, to those problems morning Matt I, I think it's a little bit early you know I think we're kind of two weeks into that problem I think it's you know at a human level it's it's quite tragic as you report yourselves nearly 25,000 cases I think where we might see the impact uh, a bit too early to say but it's in the supply chain I think as we kind of move back from where people maybe stop consuming stop traveling I think those impacts will certainly kind of come through in the supply chain in time but as of yet, nothing material that we're seeing. Uh, just, to, just to clarify your, uh, your performance versus the estimates, the revenue number did look to be a touch light perhaps, but EBITDA uh, looked to be in line with what the market was looking for. Uh, the market also focused very much on the deleveraging story then, Ken. So let me, let me ask you a little bit more about that. How, uh, how far through that deleveraging story is the business? It's, it's a continuation. I, I think, you know, capital allocation spur for capital is very much something we focus on. I think the 12% dividend, uh, up 11% for the total dividend year on year, is quite a strong message of where we see our balance sheet. I think our current, our current rating of WB plus, WB plus BA1, we're at the top end of. But at the end of last year, we borrowed 750 million at 1.5%. So the economics of moving between rating grades, or rating grids, is, is not there necessarily. We've no material maturities till 2024. So we're very comfortable where we are. But no more than capital allocation around M&A or, or, or internal investment, we, we take a look at the cap structure and indeed whether it's W plus or investment grade as a target. But certainly the balance sheet's in great strength, a little over two times levered, and coming from a history where we were, we were much higher levered than that. Is, so in, is investment grade a target, it one that you're actively working at, at towards? At some point in time, it's, it's a place we land. I think we see it as a destination rather than a journey. Um, our metrics are very much at the top end of where we are. We love the flexibility of where we are. We have lots of flexibility in that space. And given, the, if you like, the, the lack of economics between ratings grid, given that as a WB Plus we borrowed 1.5% for, for long money, um, at the moment we keep it under consideration, but not necessarily something we see in the very short term. Yeah, I have to continue to ask about the trade issues, Ken, because you've got Brexit as well, and Smurfit Kappa has 350 locations around the 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 Americas and Europe um, mills plants recycling uh, do you have to make changes now considering that the world is sort of moving in some ways against globalization certainly in the UK uh, our generally our products move less than 300 kilometers from the place in which they're produced so while paper travels long distances boxes by their nature travel very short distances so while it's quite a global business and about 370 locations worldwide our actual business is very very local so Brexit you know if you take the UK for example everything we make in paper and boxes we tend to sell in in the UK so it's seven percent of our overall group but as an island economy, if you like, it's, it's, it's quite well insulated against any kind of internal, external trade flows. And similar to Latin America, we're quite big across that region. But again, the boxes travel within the borders of those countries. So no, no necessary impacts from, say, cross-border trade or tariffs. As the, you, the reality is, Matt, corrugated travels short distances and the customers tend to be quite local. And Ken, what kind of conversations do you have with investors around climate change and commitments there? Because it's a you know it's a packaging business it's paper it's not plastic so I wonder which lens investors see you through you know do they see you as, as a company that can help towards uh, sustainability goals or one that threatens them it, I, I think we see it on two levels I think ultimately we have a product that's by its nature sustainable but equally I think as a, as a large system of paper mills which have an impact on the environment our goal is always to reduce that impact on the environment and we brought down our absolute CO2 emissions by 30 percent in the last five or six years and have a further target to bring that by 40 percent by 2030 so I think we see our business in two ways we provide a sustainable product as an alternative to, to 
plastic for some consumers. But as an investable proposition, Smurfa Kappa at its heart is very sustainable. But sustainable in the sense that you are growing more trees to exactly. produce more paper product, but we, there's still CO2. There is CO2, but ever, ever decreasing. And every investment we make tends to have an environmental angle. Um, an absolute reduction of CO2 in our business of, of as I say, 30% over the last number of years, with a stretch target to, to 2030 of another, another 10% on top of that.